morning everyone quick update it is the morning right after surgery i feel a little bit worse today i didn't really have much pain except in my throat it was so dry and painful and they told me it's because i had a tube in there but i've been having to drink so much water throughout the night to help it from drying up and now my ribs really hurt and my muscles really hurt so that's what i'm currently dealing with i have to go to my pre-op appointment in about an hour talking a lot there's a lot of breathing which kind of hurts right now i'm gonna get up change because i have the same clothes from yesterday and then eat something for breakfast and i have to go to the bathroom again so you know be good for walking around this is what i look like right now guys <laughs> bloated and bloody <sighs> okay i have to change now go nice and covered up now i'm gonna go have some breakfast do you mind trying to do my hair or you can just do ponytails or something just to get out my face this is greek yogurt with some strawberries Guys, I'm getting really, really tired. I've been walking like this. I just got home. I really need to cough. It really hurts to cough. I'm just trying to drink water, make it go away. It's time to take my medicine, and I'm my muscles hurt so much, guys. If I had to rate my pain on a scale of one to ten. It'd probably be a six. It's not like the point where I'm gonna cry, you know? But walking really hurts. Breathing really hurts. I don't know, I have a high pain tolerance. I have to take the other ones to the three a day, two a day. So at the post-op appointment, what happened? They just basically asked some follow-up questions and then they checked on the areas that they did just made sure everything was fine and put some cream on as well as a like little fabric yellow thing in my belly button and i said i have to change that daily i have seven of them and then of course i have my other post-op appointment in one week exactly from here now um but it was so painful you guys walking over there into the thing because they didn't really help me walk much um a little bit but i wasn't as much support as i'm used to so it was like painful and then i had to sit in the chair and wait for the doctor that was so much pain on my back and even now my back is in so much pain i'm so winded like uh, it was not fun um but everyone's been super sweet guys even at the the hospital they were so nice to me and they're continuing to be so nice to me and i'm really happy that you know it's going the way it's going because i'm doing pretty good Nice and easy, guys, and my throat still really hurts. <clears throat> it's the afternoon. 
<clears throat> I keep like losing my voice and sometimes I get it back from my throat really hurting and I really need to cough sometimes which really hurts I'm trying to avoid it at all costs by drinking a lot of water um, and it's the afternoon around West 6 I'm feeling better like I can walk better now but I can feel other things more like the stitches the line from the tummy tuck I can feel that a lot more and I haven't been draining on one side mainly it's all through one of the drains but um <clears throat> I'm gonna eat the rest of my chicken that I didn't finish later earlier for some reason I can't eat a lot well not for some reason obviously because I have a tummy tuck I cannot eat a lot right now I get really full and my stomach starts feeling really swollen so I'm trying to eat a little bit um, and eat very healthy so I will see you tomorrow I'm going to have my medication in a little bit and then go to sleep um, but I'm gonna have my first massage tomorrow so we're gonna see how that goes because I'm terrified of the pain of that so yeah I'll see y'all then okay I'm about to go to bed guys but I want to show you real quick this is basically the setup we have I have two little arm pillows and I have my snacks and drink here um, and my phone just in case and this is basically how I slept last night and how I'm gonna sleep tonight I have so many pillows under me it's not even funny but it's very comfortable so we're gonna head to bed and I'll see y'all tomorrow bye it's 4 30 in the morning I have to be up every two hours to breathe into this thing to prevent pneumonia Plus, do a little bit of walking, of course. Good morning, guys. It's day two now after surgery. And I'm waiting on uh, my masseuse who's going to be here very soon. I'm pretty nervous about the massages. Um, I'm going to vlog that. And hopefully it's not too painful. But I took my meds and hopefully they'll kick in soon as well. Um, and I had walnuts today for breakfast. Hey, uh, my surgeon said to tell you to only uh, do the light bulb areas on the screen. The light bulb right here. Okay, I'll just need for you to sit like this. Okay? Okay, there we go. And I do use Arnica for everything that I do from a massage, okay? What are you taking for the inflammation? Um, I don't know if it's cough and baby, it's um... Okay, guys, I just had my first massage. Um, it was really gentle, really nice. Um, I did not feel pain, like, really at all. I have another one tomorrow. And I'm trying to walk around as much as possible because last night I didn't do a lot of walking, you know, because I was sleeping a lot. Um, but I did at least get up every three hours, which typically I was doing two hours, but I'm trying not to let that become a habit. And I'm going to walk as much as I can now that I'm up and awake. Um, and I'm using my wheelchair as um, a holding thing, but I still am having help. And so I think I'm going to have some more something to eat again the walnuts obviously weren't filling it's just like a little bit of that um and then drink a lot of water and now i'll update you guys um later i'm still super hunched as y'all can see this is my walking <laughs> okay it's 10 um i'm gonna eat some tuna i have uh what's it low fat mayonnaise apples mixed in here with some unsalted crackers um, my chest is in a lot of pain right now. It's 1.14 and I feel like absolute crap. I keep getting air, like if I want to burp and I can't get it out. And if I do, it's a very little bit. Also with the sponge bath I had, I stood too much and I'm completely exhausted. 
I just don't have any energy and I don't feel good at all. But I'm gonna continue to try and sleep right now. I took a nap and I feel so much better. It's about seven now, what time is it? I don't know, but I had chicken and rice for dinner again because it's like my favorite and drank 1% um, milk. Um, I feel pretty full, so I'm trying to sit up and walk a bit to let any air out. Um, and now I'm gonna do my breathing. Um, and after that, I think I might take some medication. I have another massage in the morning, so I think I'll just see y'all then. Good morning, guys. It's day four. I feel better than yesterday. And um, it's 8.30, about to be 8.40, basically. I just wanted to update you guys. So I realized something yesterday, that if I'm not going to pee every like hour, two hours, three hours, I'm not drinking enough water because my head was hurting a lot yesterday and I think it came from dehydration because after drinking a good amount of water, I felt much better. Um, also, I've been emotional because it's, you know, it sucks being helpless basically and immobilized and not being able to even sit up on your own so i got emotional i cried and that also made my head hurt so you know the water coming out um so try to refrain from crying is something i've learned and also try to drink enough water to keep the fluids going makes me feel much better another thing was i think i was just like really tired from like i said the the bath just standing so i'm gonna try today to not push myself at all like if I feel like I'm too tired I'm not going to I'm not going to keep doing whatever I'm doing I'm going to sit down I'm gonna rest to not have what happened to me yesterday happened today because I swear I felt so tired the rest of the entire day like I was still trying to catch my breath so today will be better I feel better my masseuse is on her way I should, should be here any moment I'm feeling stronger today and I'm able to just kind of walk around on my own. I try not to do it too much just because I have safety, but I feel good. So I'm doing much better, I think. The masseuse also mentioned that my swelling's gone down. So I think we're getting to a much better spot. All right, this is what I have for my breakfast. Um, this is keto bread, seeded, and then I have turkey. And then I got some strawberries for antioxidants, a little bit of lettuce, and I also have a light mayonnaise. So everything's to my surgeon's diet that I was given. <laughs> okay, so today is was still the fourth day that I've been out of um, surgery, right? So I'm gonna try and shower. Yesterday we did, like I said, a sponge bath, but I'm gonna try to actually get in the shower today. So it's gonna be really um, scary for me. So I'm just going to try and record the process, see how it goes. We do have to do quite a few things after um, baths. I have this ointment that I have to put like a little bit above my incision where like I have a stretch mark. And then we also have this thingy which goes inside of my belly button. It's like, it's called a seriform petrolatum dressing. So yeah, those two things after. For some reason, there's this one area right here, like me as a stitches, just like inside that just hurts really bad. And I don't know what it is, but like I got really sensitive. And, uh, I hate taking off the compression garment. It just makes my stomach feel so weird because it's all numbed out. And just touching it, like putting the thing in my belly button feels so weird. It's so numb and so it's just... I hate it. <sighs> Anyways, now I'm exhausted. Um, but at least I'm cleaned. I decided I wasn't going to wash my hair or anything like that. Because guys, I seriously do not feel up for that. It's still too early for me. So I think I'm just going to take the rest of the day and just relax as much as I can now. Since I've exhausted energy again. It's already 4.30 anyway. 
So tomorrow I don't have any massages. I think I have one Monday and Tuesday. So we'll see how those days go. I want to say real quick, guys, that lately when I lay down, I feel like there's literally like no circulation coming to my head or something because I start getting a headache. And then I went and took a nap earlier, like a three hour nap. And when I woke up, I could barely feel my feet. And like they were like, ¿cómo se dice? They fell asleep. So I had to twirl them around and wake them up and stuff. And last night the same thing was happening and I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's like the position I'm in or what, but I need to walk more than I was in the beginning. <sighs> Which has been harder because my sleep has been more consistent. Um, and the first night I just kept waking up. And so every time I woke up I was like, I'm going to walk. And last night it was just like I slept a lot more. I think I slept for like a good four hours straight, woke up, walked in my breathing, and then I fell asleep for like another few hours. So I think I just need to continue to get up every hour or so instead of like letting it wait because this does not feel good. It's kind of scary. Rosie, get down, baby. I'm going to be editing right now. I'm going to try to get my first video out. So it's going to be, what, like four days? Worth, uh, I don't know. I'm four days out basically, and I am trying to get back to this. So.